Hey everyone, it's Andrew with Server Mania with a blog recap. Today, the anatomy of EMC, DAE, DPE, SPE, and more. Acronyms are great for describing technical anatomy, but too many of them and it gets it confusing, especially if you're new to the hosting industry. So to clear up some of that confusion, I'll go over some of these acronyms that are commonly used with EMC storage products. DAE stands for Disk Array Enclosure. These contain the actual disk drives that store all the data. They come in many shapes and sizes, and depending on your needs, could be bigger or smaller. DPE, or Disk Processor Enclosure, is what contains the actual working parts of the EMC device, like block level protocol stuff. So casually, messing with this stuff is not something I would recommend. This is where data vault drives can also be found. SPE, or Storage Processor Enclosure, is usually found on bigger EMC systems, instead of DPE, or Disk Processor Enclosure. It basically does the same thing as DPE, except for it's a storage processor. SPS are the storage processors themselves. They fit in the metal enclosures and attach either to the storage processors or data movers. They handle everything like data read-write, retrieval, write caching, rate operations, and more when Ultraflex I.O. modules are used. Data movers or X blades are used for accessing files through storage processors of VNX systems. However, you won't find them on the VNX E3200s because they don't need separate hardware to do this. CS means control station, and it manages the file or unified components in a VNX array. Finally, NAS, which stands for Network Attached Storage. It's a shared storage device that provides file system services and storage to servers over a shared IP network. Hopefully this clears up any confusion. Did I leave out anything? Hopefully not, but if I did, leave a comment below and let us know. Visit servermenu.com and click on blog to view more great content just like this.